Hello, anyone and everyone. Welcome to Edgefall Plays Total War Warhammer 2. And I say this with a slight smirk on my face because I recorded the full intro right before I got into the game of the, this video, not realizing my mic was not muted or was muted. Yes, my mic was muted, so everything I said was lost. A very genuine video intro. But yeah, boom. Total War Warhammer 2. I messed that up a hundred times. I'm glad I nailed it this time. Uh, you know, it was uh, it came out September 28th, 2017. Published by Sega. Developed by Creative Assembly. I'm sort of just reading the script I have right here. Total War Warhammer 2 is a massive turn-based strategy game. An intimidating campaign. That one's from... And a quite bit of learning. And quite a bit of learning. Sit in the world of Warhammer, not Warcraft, baby. Civilization management and epic real-time battles with up to thousands of units on the battlefield at your command. Tons of DLC, and the third one is, third one is on the way soon, I hear. And this is an idiot's look at Warhammer 2. I was considering naming this video series an idiot's look at because I don't really have a full grasp on the game, so it'd be very, like, I feel, felt like maybe making a video of me just pointing out, like, obvious things that I feel like people might have missed because I missed it but come on I'm just inept so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna jump in we're gonna do a new campaign uh, we're not gonna load a campaign because I've only played four campaigns in this game total and I've like lost them all horribly that campaign right there I'm not gonna load it one because it's not fun for you just to jump into a campaign and be like what's happening from for many reasons and I too I know that like on two or three turns from that save load point the game is over so the Eye of the Vortex, I believe, is like the actual story mode of this game mission. I haven't played it. I've only done four campaigns in the Mortal Engines because I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine races. That's boring. I want this many races on the map because I like make over flooding my mind and uh, being an idiot. Because believe it or not, I don't have a lot of experience with Total War Warhammer 2. Uh, or the Warhammer Total War series in general. Creative Assembly, this is their whole spiel, is doing Total War games. Uh, I played a little bit at a friend's house years ago of uh, Total War, the first Warhammer one, and I thought it was too complicated, but I still thought it was very cool. And I've always been in interested, but I've always been like, I kept my distance watching YouTube videos, watching very aesthetic, like cool fights and stuff like that. Uh, this video was given to me by my buddy Spartrix. Hello, Spartrix. Mrs. Spartrix, baby Spartrix, whole Spartrix clan, thank you for the gift. We're gonna jump into a game. I fight for the greater good. We fight for the greater good. See, the cool thing is this game has so many different options. When you jump, like I, I know my way around plenty of RTSs. This one is a more complicated RTS. I do more simple RTSs like Starcraft and Warcraft. I mean, when's the last time one of those came out? It's been a while. But, uh, you know, so this is set in um, uh, Warhammer, and if you don't know, I love Warhammer. We have a, like a Vermintide video, one or two on this channel, I think. If you look at this bookcase, it's extremely messy that you can't really see it at all. I have many Warhammer books on it. A lot of Gortrek and Felix love it. They're in this game, which I geeked out when I found, found out. Um, yeah, so there's tons of factions to choose from, obviously. Uh, like, probably like way more, not way more, yeah, 32 like extra lords available in the DLC content. But here you got your basic, your elves, your lizard men, dark elves, Skaven, Skaven or Ratman if you didn't know, the Empire, which are just basic humans, dwarves, orcs, vampires, and French. The French get their own faction. And uh, you know, each of them like Texas, play differently. Like the and they all have their own Bavaria. different like you know, their own difficulty rating. Sir, hard, there is no hard, limit. hard, normal. Must and they all have, like, world. different things. Like, they start with different things. They have uh, different we relations, different spots Nicholas. where they're good at thriving. They have different play styles. Each faction has a different play style, and each lord within that faction has a little bit different play style. And uh, so far, we've only played as, just to give you guys an example of how bad we suck, we played as this fellow. And when we died, uh, pretty embarrassingly so, then we played as this I guy, the King. then we died, but in a glorious battle. We played as Gorok and we died because we got a blessing and we, we made mistakes. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure we played the another Slayer game of Angrim Iron Fist. 
you know? Gotta love that shout. Ah! He's the one where I found Gortrek and Felix on. And just to, uh... He keeps shouting, doesn't he? He just keeps shouting. Uh, I want to play... No, you're too scary. We're gonna play this guy. Wurzrog, the green, green prophet. He's dancing. Maybe I should give this guy another try. Wog has a chance to contain black orcs. He does have savage. No, we're gonna go with this guy. Because this was the very one I tried the very first time and I got screwed over through dumb things. Rimgor Ironhide could not let an insult stand. Gorfang Rorgut, master of the Black Crag, has been slagging him off. So the Black Lord bored with slaying things under Red Eye Mountain. Anyway, wait, wait. Bored with slaying things under Red Eye Mountain, anyway, strode through the World Edge Mountains, killing many stunties, dwarves, as he went. It didn't take him long to deal with Ruck, although the cur fled and had sworn revenge. Now Grimgore finds himself as the boss of Black Crag, with the whole of Badlands ripe for the plunder. So this is now my SSD. If you guys haven't noticed yet. So let's just take this time to examine what's going on here. So you think the this giant here has a necklace, like a, a medallion? It's pretty exciting. Pretty like fancy. Man, that bar is not moving. That bar is not moving. Huh? There it is. Oh man, so he just chucked that like over the shoulder chucked that guy and his horse The horse didn't do anything, but you know He doesn't know that. He didn't know that horse wasn't like an asshole Kick somebody Wait, orcs? Uh, orcs get giants? Because I realize that's an orc banner. It makes sense that we would get giants. Why would they show us Orc, or not orcs, ogre. Or, why would they show us giants? When we're playing as the orcs in our loading screen, if we didn't get giants, I mean, we definitely don't get steel, you know, knights. We don't get cavalry, armored cavalry. We'll probably get wyverns or some type of flying beast to harass people. That one makes sense. Beverage. Hey, what are you drinking? Now, this is like a watermelon soda. I don't really like watermelon, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. That's good. Still on this loading screen, huh? A better YouTuber would have edited his way out of this. Not me. Because I'm really hoping my charming personality offsets the- Please load! I, I thought I could get my face closer to the screen, because my screen is that way. This is where my recording screen is. And I'm, uh... You know, we're taking this time to get to know each other. I think, how are you doing today? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to know how you're doing today. We're still in this loading screen. All right. You know, I have to use my considerable wit to keep you all entertained. Because I've committed to not... <sighs> Nothing. I thought something changed on my screen. I was really excited. But yeah, I've, I've committed to not doing that. So, you know what? Maybe I should... Oh, let me see something. Oh, no. I mean... All right, that's yeah, fine. I don't know why it, it, it minimizing scared me like you guys would miss something. Like you would miss something that's happening on my uh, screen right here. You know, it looks like it's a lot more loaded in on my screen than it does on this screen. By this screen, I mean I'm indicating what OBS is showing me because it looks like I'm almost done. But here, it looks like, man, it, it has been at least four minutes. This is not good. Mother of God, he's going on five minutes on the loading. I don't even know. I didn't actually look at the timer. Before we got to the loading screen. I really should have saved my little mini script for this part. Because that would have filled some of the void. Psst. 
some of the void. We should shave. So I started working again. You know, epidemic. Lost my job. It's pretty. It's pretty difficult. Or for furlough, right? That's the term. Hey, look on my screen. It's completely filled. We're just sitting here talking because I want to get the crag is yours. Black crag is yours. The badlands beyond lay open for conquest. I agree. This area is dominated by tribes of inferior green skins. Tui. Inferior? The plains to the west, rot guts, red fangs, mass against you. Angry at the loss of their stronghold. Proving your utter superiority over Gorfang should be your first calling. Sounds easy. My first calling. Enemy to belligerent initially won't cow down to an indomitable spirit. They need to be eliminated. Alright. Can't see what's happening. Where should I move this? Right here? Is that the spot to move this? At least for right now. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it down there. I don't really know where I should put this. But it, you're sitting there now, camera. Mission issued. Defeat an army that belongs to the following faction. The Red Fangs. And you can tell by that. This is the enemy faction of the Cursed Red Fangs. Pretty simple. But I mean, I guess I knew that one. When I, I assumed that one too. That one is not that hard. World events that's happening. How do they play? Boom. I know what to do. Lord has not been moved. Trust me, friend. My lord. Hey, all right, there he goes. See, this means no stance. This right here was the biggest trip up. Is I didn't realize where my movement bar was. And why that was an issue is I will let you know in a second. We're going to get the combat, you know? Kill them all. I didn't research. I had complete faith in us. I can auto resolve, but you know, we're here to show you what the basic combat is. And if you've never seen a Total War game in your life, which I feel like most people have. Not most people. A lot of gamers have. I feel like that's also wrong. Because, like, implying that if you haven't seen it means you're not a gamer. That's not true. That's not true. It's people who like RTS or grand scale battles more than like we have seen. Some, you know, Warhammer fights. Not Warhammer. Total War fights. But, alright. And l let's look at what we're starting with. Hello? Am I not allowed to read these? Right, I'll just assume. Alright, we got... I think those are Black Orcs. Because Grim Gore starts with Black Orcs. I could be wrong. These are probably normal Orc Warriors. Because they got them. You got Goblins with Spears. Goblins with Bows. Um, mm -mm. Right, well, let's see how right I was. This is almost the battle. Isn't that exciting? Goblin archers, black orcs, I called it. Orc boys, orc war boys, doomer diver catapults. All right, Grimgor is a strong leader. He goes to the front. To followed by his black orcs. Stretch him out. Just, I want Get that happen. Archers be a little bit further back, because why would Archer be in the front? Right? Let's just zoom out. Let's just zoom out. Interesting. So now that we got this perspective, that was kind of a waste. Right? You know, realistically, I don't want to, like... Can I be in a better position to fight these guys? I smell fear. I love orcs. Orcs spelt with a K, by the way. Don't get it twisted. Alright, boys. Let's just set these here, because why the fuck? Nah, I don't imagine them being completely rushed. Watch me eat my words. We'll start the battle, you know? Alright, boys. Here we are, we see them. Just you then. To use the maps available to assist your tactical planning, Commander. Is that the tactical map? Alright, you. Where's the enemy lord? First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make Grimgore target the enemy lord. That's Grimgore's only objective. Catapults. Let's go for the bowmen. Now nobody wants to get hit by a bowman. 
Uh, everyone else? I don't know. I did. No, actually, I'm just. You guys, you guys come up there. It's fine. I mean, you guys. We're just gonna rush. We're just, oh, this isn't really tactical. It doesn't matter. Right? Let's watch our boys go in action. What I love about the. There they go. What I love about Warhammer goblins, at least orcs, or green skin warfare, the better term, is that's their catapults. Are they just shoot goblins at the enemies? And we're gonna go and watch them land because I take no. There they are. Well, look at them just waiting for us. Oh my god. Man, they are cool with it. Why are they just cool with this? I don't really understand. Let's go this way. Those things don't have to move up, so they're fine. And these guys can move up right here. Right? Move up and get in position. See right here? Yeah, you people, you got some uh, quick commands you can do. It's all right. Hopefully, they meet us in combat like the not or like the cowards they are. Your next makes me just challenge an enemy lord. I'll go tactical, man. That's how you do. You press tab. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. Yeah. Here we go, boys. Look at them. This is why we have Grimgore leading the charge. This is why, we, I don't know if I was like so far away from my mic because I'm like zoomed in enjoying like geeking out. Crush them, Grimgore! Let's watch what we really go ahead and Go ahead and try and challenge Grimgore. Yes! Come in, team. Oh, God. It's not... A bunch of my boys flying. Uh-oh, uh, 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 uh What's happening? We're noticing things. We are noticing things. Why are you guys all the way in oblivion? You guys are gonna flank. Because that's what bad bitches do. Black Orcs, you're gonna kill them. Black Orcs, you gotta make sure that we don't get flanked. Yeah, well, I don't know why you guys aren't shooting. Alright. Some goblins. See? They're... Attacking front, so they're, they're losing currently, but they're confident. We are attacking the rear and attacking our front, but we are confident. And goblins are even shooken because let's face it, they're goblins. Uh, they, uh, we'll pop our wog. The things orcs do is uh, in Warhammer they wog. Wogging is just uh. <laughs> A giant orc army. It's a cause to like go berserk, and it's a beautiful thing. Why is he out running us? Horses, run him down. A horse, boar boys. This is run them down. We don't care. Smash them. He's wounded. Don't let him leave. Make him fight our big boss. He's dead. Enemy Lord is dead. This should mean that their morale is going to be shattered. Like, pretty soon. Uh, realistically, they're like they're going to break instantly. There's no, there's no denying that. Goblins are very weak morale. Uh, yeah, it's already over. There's your victory screen. Current bog points is something these orcs do. It's an orc only thing. Every single orc civilization, I'm pretty sure, wogs the fuck out. Yo, Grimgore Ironhide killed no men. That's embarrassing. Even though, wait, did the boar boys get kills? Who did the boar boys fight? I genuinely don't know. That must be, that's one of the most. Grimgor Ironhide, I'm pretty sure from the videos I've seen, it's supposed to be one of the one of the top tier fighters. 
Like, I'm pretty sure only plot armor in the lore is why he lost. Gain loot, and now we get to decide what we do. Double barrel. What? I don't have... I don't have a ranged weapon. Right, I guess I got an item that gives me better ranged stuff. Right, we can ransom the cap caps and get more, and we can slaughter them. And, you know, we're, like, hyped. Or we could replenish our units. Honestly, what are these? Normal orcs? Not that worried about it. We're gonna slaughter captives. Shoo! Run away, they said. said. Boom. We did a daily mission. We got a thousand gold. Gorfang may think that his fortress at Iron Rock will provide him cover. It won't. He is mistaken. Drive he's his mistaken. forces out. And Thank you. I will drive his forces out. Ganesh, or an enemy belonging to them has died in battle. All right, so we got a double barrel. Uh, I'll be sure to give that to somebody else whenever I get the chance. Research available. Bottom right, I see you. All right. Go faster. Move faster. Go bigger. Or gobby gooboos. Or gobby go gobos. That's where we increase our goblins. We're going to get growth. We're going to get bigger. Because orcs... I'm the meanest and the biggest and the strongest. It's orc uh, mentality. Uh, I don't really know if I should, but I'm going to upgrade my main base. See? Uh, upgrading the main camp gives me growth, gives me income to gold. And provides a garrison. Here. Troll cave. Can I build? We have to upgrade our main settlement first. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Let's get a cave of shinies. It'll take three turns. Unassigned skill points. This is where you train Grimgore himself. Because they have their own like skill trees, each each lord. Route member. Dead Ard. Dead Ard. I like that. Bellower. We're gonna take that. Just make him tanky. Make him go in there and just fight. End all of our issues, you know? Can we just Where's chase this sound? guy down still? Yeah, we're not done. We're not done fighting. They don't have a, a lord right now, but let's just auto resolve, which is this little button right here. Just let the let the AI handle that one, because sometimes I believe this game would take forever if you uh, did every single battle, which I mean some people do, and much respect. Come on. But like I am not competent just enough. In both All right, let's just uh, let's fall back. That's nice skill. Cool he leveled up. He leveled up because we got another kill, you know. Uh, available after unlocking the best of the best to be able to have that. Tunnel boss, we don't fight underground. Hmm. Weapon strength, charge bonus, hit points, melee attack. I don't know what's the difference between melee attack and weapon strength. But our weapon strength is 500 and our melee attack 70. But this bar is lower than that one, so I guess we're going for that. Alright. Let's go! And I believe we end our turn. Now look at all of the enemy. Look at all the other turns. No, almost be the other. Fast forward that. These are all the other factions in this campaign, which is madness if you honestly think about it. It's a lot of it's a lot of things happening. You know, I'm glad I'm glad we're finally recording this video. And, uh, I don't know, I get weird because I didn't know how I was going to record this. Because I'm like, this game's been out for three years. If you know what this game is, there's no way you don't know. Hmm. What's their, what's their uh, forces looking like? Can we just raid them? Scaven corruption. That's always a thing. No vampire corruption, only Skaven. Let's get it. Let's just get them, man. Let's get it. We're orcs. We get to uh, attack them. We're going to show you what sieging a base looks like. Sieging a castle? I guess as we have time. It's only 24 minutes in. Oh, no. Another loading screen. What have we done? Oh, now we can look at our characters. At least I, I jinxed myself. Oh, are we not? 
Not sieging the castle itself or fighting outside? That's rude. Also, side note, why is I keep starting my archers in the front? I don't get it. Truly do not understand. That, that doesn't matter. That noise. That noise. Alright. The terrain conceals the enemy's movements, Commander. We must be wary. Oh man, that's difficult. So no wonder the terrain made it so we couldn't see them, which is uh she's a little intense. But uh who is this? This enemy leader? Where? This? Is this their it's a it's a unit? Or a squad as their leader? Say no more. We're they're gonna rout. Say no more, fam. I'll send the big man himself. I guess everyone everyone themselves everyone's getting sent. Run, boys! Yeah, moving smart, moving smart. Boar boys, keep moving. Use your speed. Use your speed, boar boys. Oh yeah, charge them. Hey, look at them all go flying. Grimgor is just fighting a horde of people. Being the biggest and strongest orc he can be. And here comes the cavalry. That was awesome. Oh, they're wogging it up. Use your wog. Start scattering, cowards. I get it. You guys are you guys are a little weak. You guys are a little. Oh, you're confident though. That's a nice thing. Can you get the boy boys to flank right here. Damage shaking. Oh well, how about you guys getting uh flanked? Flanked by the boy boys. The horde of goblins. Just a horde. Of, I realize I keep leaning away because I'm like zooming in to watch, and that's not uh, that's not good etiquette. Let me move the mic this way more, so maybe it'll catch me. But like, I don't know. This is just some simple basic stuff I love watching. Just look at these, look at these poor gobbos. Four gobbos getting worked by the black orcs. Black orcs are too strong, and too intimidating. Oh, they're being flanked, so they're a little upset. But it's fine. Yeah, these guys are definitely using decisive, losing decisive. Both of them are. Two v one scenario. Black orcs are stomping. Oh, Grimgor is chasing the enemy army. Hey, okay, let's use a wog. You know, screw these guys. We can wog it up too. Our orc, our bloodlust is too strong. Charging bonus, right? I don't know when the charging bonus starts, but <laughs> they're good, the Gabos. And that is the decisive victory. A complete and utter crushing of them all. Look at them all flee! Hoorah! I like it. There you go, that's more like it. Grimgore personally killed 53 boys by himself. So the Black Orcs killed 96 because they got to fight two full regiments alone. I guess not alone. At the very end, archers and boar boys came into play, but it's pretty dirty. It's pretty dirty. Loading screens, am I right? Am I right? Ooh, rough. So we take it over. 
Now we get the cheese, we will occupy it. That's just, uh, you know, obedience penalties. You know, people don't like that. We can just sack it, don't get money. But realistically, I'm pretty sure our goal is to capture this area. So we're gonna loot and occupy. This belongs to us. I don't really know what this means. I know like Skaven crushing means there could be Skaven underneath or like chaos. You know, it's all bad. I don't know how to like really. I wolf rider scouts report a force of dwarfs to the north, isolated from the safety of their hold. Slaughter cool. them, and news will soon spread okay. of your intent to Got break open. Your territory expands, Savage, Savage Lord. Lord. Yet there are many lands to conquer. In time, I foresee war with the greater tribes. Loop and occupy four different places, huh? Let's do check out this real fast. Inspiring presence, character aura leadership. Yeah, let's increase his attack. Make him a little bit more oomphier. Right. Instead of doing that, I could do this though. That's pretty hardcore. Well, let's make him tanky. I feel like. A big orc like that guy will be tanky, you know what I mean? Alright, this army. Oh, orcs have something called scrap upgrade, right? Can you upgrade these guys? Cannot. Insufficient scrap. Makes sense. Makes sense. I wasn't I don't even care. Teleport? Alright, uh when the battle right, how do I do it? Oh, I have to select the Lord. I definitely don't want to teleport because I feel like that. Oh yeah, so whenever you take over a place, no, no, don't cancel construction. My bad. That's uh, that's that city. And I, I just took over Iron Rock. When you take over places, you gotta usually repair because uh, you know, you fucking just ransack their whole world. So it's it's pretty smart. You gotta repair this stuff. Idols, casualty. All right, replace the casualty. So take one turn to repair that. We recruit a hero? Nope, we don't have anywhere to recruit a hero. What an obnoxious question. And? What's this? Bottom feeder. Stragula. Wagman. Alright, that's how you, uh. The new orc. I, uh, I believe today, actually, orcs got a whole new mechanical upgrade. Their skill trees got reworked, which means almost nothing to me. Besides, from what I've heard, is like, you know, orcs. Got the shaft a lot of the times, uh, but I heard they got updates, so hopefully that'll be good for them. I'm still too green to really know. That's my uh, victory, long campaign victory. I had to defeat them. Yeah, they'll feed a lot of people. Or, or is it also? Am I, is this or also? I don't know. That's, that's a lot of uh, ifs. Right, let's look at the map. That's all I found. But trust me, there's more than just this. There's a whole... I mean, it's just not a whole world. It's like this is the square bracket of where a world is. But yeah, this, ladies and gentlemen, was Total War Warhammer 2. Um, a look at uh, idiots. It's not going to be an idiot's guide because I didn't really teach anything. But uh, yeah, this is me... Playing. This was Ed's look at a Total War Warhammer 2. This, boom, fifth campaign attempt, I guess. Four ones, the four other ones I did failed horribly. But, uh, yeah. Uh, if you liked the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, tell me all that nonsense. I'll consider actually waiting. I'll save it and I'll consider waiting and see if I get a general, like, oh man, you should do another one. And, I, you know, if just one person says that, I appreciate it, but, like, I don't know if I'll do it just for one. So, like, if I get a general, like, a better, like, a real response of, like, you should do more of these video, I will follow up this campaign. I don't know how long, but I will definitely try to. Uh, I'll try to update and teach you guys. Not teach. Just uh, relay what I'm learning as I play. Uh, that's an idea. But if not, this will just be, you know, Ed Troll plays Total War Warhammer 2. And I'm perfectly okay with that. I mean, I can play this game plenty on my own time. I more than likely will. Um, <coughs> the only issue is, God, I so much DLC makes me just want to buy it because I know I, I love the Warhammer universe. And it's like Blood Bowl for me. And I don't know if you know what Blood Bowl is. It's another Warhammer game with tons of DLC. And I had to get every DLC because I can't not 
play as maybe an ogre or maybe a gaba or maybe a werewolf or maybe a tomb king etc etc but yeah so uh tell me what you thought of the video down below in the comments that always helps always helps the algorithm uh like comment subscribe all that nonsense uh i love you guys i'm actually gonna try and record two more videos right after this so the shirt's not gonna change but the videos will be spread out more than likely it won't be all uploaded in the same day obviously but uh yeah this is total war warmer 2 thank you the spartrix and the spartrix family uh love you guys then love you all other viewers as well catch you guys next time like comment subscribe bye This thing is called Riding the Bull.